cute. <laughs> All right, we've got Blake Dietrich here. If you have a question for her, please raise your hand. I will call on you. Beatrice, we'll start with you. Go ahead. Good afternoon, Blake. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well, doing well. Obviously, um, we're heading into like the final stretch of the season. Uh, what's the the morale of the team um, looking forward to um, completing the season as well as possibly going into next season? Yeah, I think this team has a good time. We, we have fun and we work hard and none of the losses are because of a lack of effort. So I think it's, it's easier to hang your hat on that, that we're giving everything we possibly have every game and maybe things aren't going our way or we're running out of gas because we're super shorthanded, but um, morale is good, is good. We're, we're fighting for that win. We're, every game is we're expecting to win. Thank you. Spencer Nussbaum, go ahead. Hey Blake, how are you doing today? Hey, good Spencer. Good to hear. Uh, so I know you've only been around Aerie for a short while now, um, but when you think about maybe the other rookies that you've seen across your tenure in the league, what makes her special or what makes her stand out? Yeah, that's a great question because it's really hard to be a rookie in this league, but she does the work. She puts in the work. She doesn't have um, an attitude. She doesn't believe that she's better than anything. She's always trying to learn, always trying to get better. Um, and I have so much respect for that because I think sometimes when you come in from college being the star player, you expect to be the best immediately in the WNBA. And that's just not how it works. So I have a lot of respect for her and how she carries herself. Ron Thula, go ahead. Hi, Blake. How are you today? Hi, good. Thank you. Good. Looking forward to seeing you in uh, Dallas tomorrow. Uh, oh, I have a question. How proud are you of Bella? Uh, she, and I've been doing the wings since they moved here on TV, but this year, she, first of all, she's one of the nicest people I've ever met. And <laughs> second, she comes in with such a great attitude. She knows her role. She does mm -hmm. the work. And the greatest comment I think we've gotten uh, from teammates is how much respect they have for her. Your thoughts on Bella? Yeah, we raise them right at Princeton. I mean, <laughs> we, we, we teach you to have respect. We teach you to never, um, nothing is, is given. Everything is earned at every single level. Um, and I think that that's a testament to our coaching staffs, whether it was Courtney Banghart and her staff or Carla and her staff um, who finished out. Bella's tenure, but inc incredibly proud. We're the only two Ivy Leaguers in the WNBA right now. And I could not be prouder that we're from the same school and representing Princeton and Ivy League and mid-majors and all that. She's, she's killing it. And one more question. Um, when you look at Dallas, uh, obviously they've got Enrique, but your thoughts on Dallas and, and the kind of team they have, and especially their guard play. Yeah, yeah, I think they, they live and die by their guard play, right? Whether, and if we can force tough shots and high volume from the guards and a low percentage, um, it's a winnable game. They're a really good team, don't get me wrong, but we've been in every game. We've been in games with Chicago and Vegas and teams that are at the top of the league. So I think we're gonna do everything we can to win this game. And I think it's doable, but we have to defend for sure. Thank you, have a good day. Thanks, you too. Answer next one. Back to you. Yeah, I also wanted to ask. I mean, you obviously bring a, a fresh perspective to this team. You know, only arriving a, a week or so ago. Uh, when you look at the macro level of where this team was at last year and where you're at right now, what sort of things stand out to you? Yeah, I'm new, but I'm old. <laughs> you know, I've been here before. I've played two years with the Dream, um, so it, it's. It's good to see some fresh faces, some fresh energy, and then the vets, the people who have been here and know how, how we work and how we operate. Elizabeth, Tiffany, um, those people are, are crucial to our success. I think this team has a huge upside. I think there's a ton of potential, um, but we just need to get it all, put it all together and stay healthy. All right, thank you, Blake. Thank you. Sorry. You got to all this stuff off the board.
All right, we've got Darius Taylor here. Do you have a question for him? Please raise your hand, I'll call on you. Spencer Nussbaum, we'll start with you, go ahead. Hey coach, how are you doing today? How are you, Spencer? I'm doing well. I was just wondering if you could give us an update on the health of uh, Tiana, Tiffany, Candace, and anyone else on your team. Um, so Tiffany's good to go. So she'll be, she should be able to play uh, just fine. It'll be, uh, we're still kind of probable, questionable with uh, Candace Dupree and Tiana uh, right now uh, is probably going to be out. John Thulin, go ahead. Hi, Coach. How are you today? I'm good, Ron. How are you? Well, uh, good. Good to see you again, my friend. Um, good to see you. Dallas. Dallas has problems at home. I mean, I saw the stat the other day that it used to be 61 percent of the home time the home team wins. Now it's down to 51 percent. Have you talked to your team about this a golden opportunity because they don't play well at home? Uh, I haven't tried to focus on, on whether it was home or away. I mean, most of the things that we've had issues with have been, you know, our problems. And so I, I've just tried to continue to stress that, you know, we've been right on the brink and we're going to get over the hump. And it's just it just comes down to us, um, you know, being able to lock in in those moments where we need to score, stop, score or stop, score, stop uh, to finish to finish a game. You know, we've been in almost every game since the break, except, you know, with the exception, of maybe Phoenix got away from us a little bit here. Um, and so we just got we just have to uh, learn from those mistakes and, and, and all be locked in uh, to, to finish out, finish out a game to get a win. So I've really tried to focus on us and the things that we're doing. I haven't really, you know, looked at their road or away uh, road or home record just as much just because I know they're an, an explosive offensive team. And so the things that we have to do to control them is what we focus on. Who will you put on Enrique? Because every coach that uh, the Wings have played has told me they, they don't mind Enrique getting 30 points, but they want her to do it on 30 shots and make her right. inefficient. Uh, your thoughts on Enrique? I mean, she's a handful. And you can't guard her with one player. You got to give her different looks. Um, you got to you know, make her facilitate a little more. Um, and so we're just going to mix it up on that. I, I, I haven't decided yet exactly who I'm going to put on her to start because I want to see who they're going to start, you know, because, you know, the last game they started Thornton at three. Uh, but, you know, I don't know what the uh, update is on Alicia Gray or and what's happening with her. And so, you know, with all this time off, they, they may be able to get healthier. So we haven't decided yet until we kind of get a better feel um, on what, what they're going to have uh, to start the game. And one final question, uh, disclaimer, Mike uh, Peterson is a very, very close friend of mine. We do games together on TV. Have you yeah, used the phrase ball security is job security yet? <laughs> His famous <laughs> phrase. <laughs> I, I, I have not used it yet, uh, but I, I, I use some other stuff that Mike says. So, um, you know, he's his, a lot of his thoughts and things that he says is in my mind, you know, working with him for four years. And, um, you know, still from time to time, may reach out to him just to pick his brain a little bit um, and also check on him, see how he's doing. But, you know, the, the biggest thing, um, you know, our team is, has done a pretty good job of, you know, kind of taking care of the ball. You know, it's, it's the other the areas that we need to focus on, uh, offensively executing, making open shots and, uh, you know, just other little things, making free throws. Thanks, Coach. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you, Ron. I look forward to seeing you as well. I'll turn back to you. Yeah, so I know that Crystal's out for the rest of the year. Could you try to condense maybe what she's meant to this team this year coming out of, you know, basically nowhere to make this team and then how your team will uh, adapt without her in the coming weeks? Well, you know, uh, yeah, Crystal is a bundle of energy uh, for our team. She, she, She's a spark plug. She really gets us going, especially when she makes, uh, you know, dynamic plays. It's hard to um, hard to get what she's given our team, but we'll, we'll do it by committee. Uh, we'll have, obviously have to uh, play strictly more at, at both the wing and at the four position. And, you know, she'll be missed, but we, we still have a good group, a good unit. 
uh, left to still uh, give us the opportunity to be in games. Spencer, if you have a follow up, go ahead. Yeah, I also wanted to ask about Monique, just kind of on a more macro level. Uh, he obviously has given you guys a, a bunch of great performances down this stretch. When you think back to her time when she was just arriving in Atlanta, um, can you kind of speak to her growth as a player? Because I think that might sometimes go, you know, a little under the radar. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. When when Mo Mo came to us, we knew we were getting that, you know, a very good athlete um, and an energy player. And you know, each year she's continuing to work on, you know, her skill set and try to bring something back. You know, she's obviously continuing to work on her her shot, and then also just her confidence and and making moves and finishing. Um, you know, I, I think about her rookie year where, you know, every go-to move was a step through. And now, you know, she has, you know, a variety of moves uh, that she can use. Um, and yeah, her, her growth has been great, especially on the defensive end. You know, there used to be a lot of confusion her first year is anytime you put Mo in the ball screen, usually something good happened for the other team. And now, uh, you know, she's one of our, one of our best defenders. So she's come a long way, uh, both offensively and defensively. All right, coach, thank you so much. Thank you, guys.